Back at the beginning of this millennium, I'd started working on a photographic theme, which I called Twos. I was interested in two people who were very closely connected. In 2001, someone alerted me to two brothers called Harald and Matthias Rahmen. They were living together on a tiny farm outside the village of Vogo in the middle of Norway. They were 75 and 80 years old and had lived together their entire lives. Neither had married or travelled far from home. Harald, for example, had spent one night in a hotel in Lillehammer, a town about three hours away from Vogo. He told me it was the worst night of his life. I first met the brothers at the local supermarket. They went shopping once a week and took the local bus or sometimes the school bus to the centre of the village. We got in my car and there was complete silence. I tried to break the ice a bit with some questions, but it was hard going. After about a quarter of an hour, we arrived at their small house and they went inside. When I joined them a few minutes later, they were stood up in their own kitchen, still wearing their coats with the rucksacks still full of food. It took some time to get their confidence. There weren't many visitors knocking at the door, so it was a big challenge for them with my presence. I stayed with them only two, three hours each time. Then I felt it was right to withdraw so that they could continue with their daily routines. As time passed, it became possible to explore boundaries. It really surprised me that Harald and Matthias allowed me into their bedroom to take the cover picture of the book. I feel very privileged to have shared in the lives of the brothers. In modern Western society, most of us have many material goods, but the brothers had a very simple lifestyle. Today we strive a lot for changes and are moving very fast, traveling a lot. Harald and Matthias had no need for that, neither the pace nor the adventure. They had a very strong sense of belonging, both to their home place and to each other. The brothers' way of life has now almost entirely disappeared in Norway. My book is a record of that life and of the lives of Harald and Matthias Rahmen.